Hey, we're doing some brake lines on a Ranger here. All right, I chopped my brake line out. It was leaking right by the fitting up there. Took this one out first. I chopped it off with uh, some side cutters there. And then I was able to get a socket on the fitting. Big old vice grips on that block so it didn't bend. And uh, that was a 3 8 six point socket is what I used. Took it right out. Come over to this side, it was an 11 millimeter. And then it was a 10 millimeter to loosen the bleeder screw. Now this is real rusty. I went to break it free and it broke free. Sometimes you need to heat them up so they don't snap off because they will snap on you. All right, so I'm gonna fabricate my own lines. You can buy like a two foot chunk with the fittings already flared on it if you want from the parts store, but I go so, through so many brake lines, I just make it myself. So the easy way is just buy the prefabricated line. And then we've got uh, our fitting here. I'm gonna reuse my fitting. So that's where I cut it off with the side snips. And I'll just take my little Dremel tool and cut off the top nice and flush. Just clean up the top of that, that guy. nice and shiny and then we're gonna these are 3 16 lines so we'll use a 3 16 drill and we'll uh drill this old line out all right that bit's getting kind of dull might be time for a new one so I drill through there and then wire wheel the threads and we got a brand new fitting all right, we got a chunk of brake line here. And I've got my fitting on the brake line, kind of slid back. Here's a little tool, you just clamp it in the 3 16 spot. This is a regular flare. So we just use the point and we tighten her down to make our flare. You just stick the brake line out of the clamp just a little bit, not too far, you know. That looks like a good looking flare. And I'll show you the flare. And you can get these tool sets for like 12 bucks or something like that, these flaring sets. And they come with a little adapter for making your double flares. We'll get this fitting all the way up here. Boom. See, we got our flare, our fitting, bada boom. Now I'm gonna plug this into the tire side of the brake line. We'll do the uh, splitter side second. All right, I took my bleeder screw all the way out so I could just get a wrench on there really easy and I cleaned up the bleeder screw and the wire wheel. I don't have that all the way tight yet. That way the line can still move. I've routed it around, put it in the clip and all right here I have my estimated cut spot there. It's okay to leave yourself a little extra in case you mess up. You can always bend the brake line to a position all right, so now I'm gonna cut this line with my cutter tool so it's nice and smooth and get the other fitting on there. Flare it up. There we go, I got my flare done. I bent my line towards me just so it's easy to work with. Now I can bend it back where it goes. And these are easy to cross thread, so don't cross thread them. Nobody likes a cross threader. There we go, and we're gonna get this one started nice and smooth. Now we can tighten up both ends now that they're both on there. And once they're tight, we're gonna be ready to bleed the brakes. So we'll put the bleeder screw back in, opened up just a little bit. I'll have an assistant pump the brake pedal for me, get the juices flowing, you know, top off the brake reservoir. Got a video on brake bleeding, so. And then after we bleed the brakes and everything's tight, double check for leaks on your on your fittings. See how that's like dripping out because it's not tight? Well, if it's doing that while it's tight, that's no good, right? All right, there's doing a brake line, rear brake line on a Ranger. Let's go.